out. Can I hold one? <laughs> Out there. Peking ducks. Peking ducks. So I visited my friend Angela in okay, Illinois in October. Mommy. She had Peking ducks. Okay. I'll show you. And ever since then, I've wanted to get some so badly. Check this out. Can I hold one? <laughs> Do they lay eggs? They do. Yeah. And they're a uh, meat and an egg breed. So we got five females and a male. So hoping that we'll get more and more and more because I want like a flock of ducks, which I know Stuart's probably really excited about. Yes, very excited. This is really exciting. Georgia, you want to hold them in the box? Just don't take them out. Yeah, you can hold them All right, so I'm going to show you guys how to make this walnut I don't know what the proper bread name is, but it's an einkorn loaf that we are absolutely in love with. So Stuart's at work today, I'm flying solo on the camera, so bear with me, but uh, it's too delicious not to share. All right, so first we're gonna do six cups of whole grain einkorn flour. This is freshly ground. And then we're gonna do six cups of all-purpose einkorn flour. So it's half and half. I like to whisk my flowers together because it kind of aerates them. Especially einkorn, it can get really buttery and kind of stick together. It's good to mix the sourdough leaven and the water together because then we can make sure the Leaven gets evenly through all the flour and doesn't stay in chunks throughout the dough. So we've got our dry ingredients mixed here and our wet ingredients mixed. So now we mix them together. Now you can see why I chose such a gigantic bowl. syrup now. I like the sweetness that it gives the bread. And then our final ingredient to mix in is these soaked and dehydrated walnuts. This gives the bread such good flavor. to accept the liquid than regular regular wheat does and so we're gonna let this sit just for 15 minutes so it can kind of absorb some of that liquid and get to the right consistency where we can knead it all right it's been about 15 minutes so I'm gonna knead this just a little bit get it nice and smooth and do what they call turning the dough yeah. all right, I'm gonna turn this by folding the sides to the middle, like I'm folding it into thirds. I'm gonna squish it out a bit. Mommy! What? Mommy! What? 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 You go play. Okay, I'll be out in just one minute. And then essentially do it again. Fold it into thirds again. Okay? Basically. At this point, we're with one giant ball, but I'm going to split this into two because this is actually a double recipe. So, 
We are gonna need this again, so it's not super important that this gets perfect right now, but you can kind of see here what we're left with. Here are the loaves now. So they've been up here for about three hours. And then I basically rolled them out and re-rolled them into balls to develop that delicious gluten. And they've been up here on top of the espresso machine keeping warm for about another hour or so while my oven preheats. And then it's time to bake them. Hey, Juju. What are you looking for? Are you getting teeth? Are you getting teeth up there? Are you getting some teeth? Can I see? Can I see? Can you say, ah, uh, ah, uh, oh, there's a tooth. I see. Oh, oh. Wow. I see two teeth. I see two teeth. One, two. Oh, wow. Ugh. Oh. Don't be sad. Don't be sad. Come here. <laughs> <laughs> so here are our little peeking ducks, and they've been here for what, Stu? Like four or five days? Four days? Yeah. Yep. Now? Yeah. And they are actually all still alive. It doesn't help me. <laughs> it doesn't always work out that way, so you gotta be thankful when it does. Uh oh, George didn't know, and I need your help. Can you guys help me put the duckies back in? Uh -oh. I'm gonna get some water, okay? I'm gonna give the duckies a little bit of this kombucha vinegar in their water. Basically just works like raw apple cider vinegar where it gives them all kinds of good stuff for their gut. But I just made this kombucha vinegar, so that's what they get. Gentle, gentle. Or the other, it's gonna go in again. Oh, they like that. Just a sec, just a sec, I'm gonna the ducks. When I, when I put it in there, it didn't care, it just took a drink of water. I know, you just jumped right in. <laughs> We'd go down walk on the pier. Mm-hmm. You know? Those were the days. Life didn't used to be this complicated. So we were really poor then. We were really poor. Now we can make bread with walnuts. Make bread and drink beer. Beer. I want a slice of that really bad. I, it's I supposed could. to sit for uh, like two seconds. hours. Two hours? No. That's dumb. That's not real. You're not being true. Are you being true? Cut it right here. You can do that. And just tear it off and we just eat it like animals. You can do that. Don't do this, people. The spread's supposed to sit. Two hours later. Stuart's being greedy. See, look at it. It's not. This is my piece right here. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> it's wrong. Get some butter, yeah. Let me just tell you at the end of a pretty bad day, mm -hmm. let's be honest, it was a really bad day. Why was it here. so bad? Attitudes, mine, mine included. What do you think? Good. 